Here's how I'd like us to begin to think about the significance of this and the significance of the work we do when there are journalists around. And that is, taking the discipline I learned from MCDP1, we need to get inside the media's head and figure out what they're really up to. And here's what they're not up to. <clears throat> Journalism school teaches journalists in the United States that the First Amendment places a significant burden on them, and that is to provide the information that citizens need to make informed choices in a free society. That is what they teach in J school. I believe many journalists believe that. I also believe that that is not in any way predictive of how they're going to cover any given story. It certainly doesn't explain how they covered that story, and it won't predict how they're going to cover you. So what is it that has both explanatory power, or what we just saw, and predictive power based on how they're going to cover you? And here's my starting point. Reporters at television news, at newspapers, at magazines, and now in the alternative forms of journalism that exist online are professional storytellers. Their business is telling stories of a particular kind. And that is stories that people actually want to read and stories that people actually want to watch. And their challenge is, how do we get busy people who've got lots of opportunities to be distracted by many other things to drop everything and read and watch what they are doing? Well, that is how you get there. But what you actually need is to write something that is so interesting that people will be driven to watch it or to read it. So the starting point for storytelling is if it isn't interesting, it doesn't make it into the paper, it doesn't make it on the news. The interesting is a necessary condition of all journalism. The interesting can be a sufficient condition of journalism. It doesn't need to be anything but interesting in many cases. We, and by we I mean serious people, everyone in this room plus others, tend not to spend our time worrying about or wondering whether what we're doing is interesting. We tend to spend a lot of time wondering about and worrying about things that are actually important. <clears throat> Reporters can't cover something just because it's important. They can't cover something just because it is important. They can only cover important things that are also interesting. They can only cover the overlap between important and interesting. That creates an opportunity for the Marine Corps but it also creates risks. The other <coughs> challenge of journalism, based on them and how serious people <coughs> operate, is we have a duty to get things right. We have commitments to be accurate in the things we convey. They don't. Witness Mystery Missile, and not even an acknowledgement that they were the ones who invented it and they were the ones who got it wrong. Some of the challenge of journalism is factual error, as we saw in Mystery Missile, but most of the challenge of accuracy is completeness. And that is because journalists can't cover complexity. Therefore, they oversimplify. And it is in the oversimplification that meaning gets lost. The good news for us, who focus on the accurate and the important, is that there are opportunities where the interest in the accurate and the important overlap and that becomes our safe place, that becomes our opportunity, but that also needs to become our boundaries. And if we're going to talk to reporters, we need to talk to reporters within those boundaries of the overlap of interesting, important, and accurate. <coughs> so our strategy, if we want to advance the story, becomes very simple and it's a three-part strategy. The first part of the strategy is take what you know to be important and make it interesting and make it so interesting that the reporter will want to cover it, PAOs are really good at this. PAOs know how to do this. The second part of the strategy is much harder, and that is don't say anything more interesting than that. And in particular, resist the temptation, resist the invitation to say something more interesting than that. And the third part is, to the degree there is complexity, simplify it yourself. 
We're going to look at how difficult that second part of the strategy is. But let's first focus on the first part of the strategy. The interesting is what the reporters are always looking for. We need to know what reporters consider interesting here.